Welcome to the Art Den Studio. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a continuation to this Skull Scorpion piece that we're working on. I've come back in now after laying down all the white. And I've start bringing in the decay. Just done a flood coat over it. I'm going to bring back all of my brightest areas. Uh, pop out all those whites. Kind of build my structure a little bit further. This is kind of getting my mid-tone to the piece. This is a good time to do a good flood fill. I've kept the brightest area on the, on the piece there. Apologize for the compressor. I've kept the brightest area still white. I have not blood filled that area because that will be more white again. While you guys watch me work away at the piece here, backfilling my darkest areas and then I'll be coming in with a bone white illustration paint by Createx. I'll be coming back in with that to frame up all my structure and again bring out those highlights. While well, you guys watch me do that I, I do have a little bit of a excerpt here now we were testing our, our mics and whatnot. And Lauren decided to hit the record button and recorded a conversation that her, her and I were having. And at, after that, we kind of chuckled. We had watched it and thought, well, there's actually some parts of here we might be able to use. Why not, you know, use this for maybe some guys that are having the problem with artist anxiety and you know some of the frustrations you get as an artist you know we talk about a few things so I thought we'd share we're gonna be doing a vlog I'm trying to figure out how that works I've never done that before but thought we might have some fun with it talk about artists with artist issues like, so enjoy <laughs> yeah okay I, I get it like, I get I don't know. it but you, you can't look at it that way, right? Because, again, it's it's all about perception, right? It is, it is. It Everybody is. has their own point of view. And Everyone think, has their own that's why perception I've of really things. That's really trying, especially right? with you and learning from you. It's like, I really try hard to shut the fuck up. I try to understand, but some days so it's just angry. like... Some days, that artist in me is yelling, going, what? What? <laughs> why? And I'm like, shut up. Let's just see where this goes. I'm sorry, I know it bothers me, but it, it p picks you. It's like an OCD of I want to say something. I don't. Know yeah, sometimes you better just you not know, say you anything. Know if you say anything, it could stir the, the shit, or it's gonna piss you off or piss off the customer. But you know it bothers you, and you sit and you'll think about it in your sleep, and you're like, why? I don't like it. I don't like it. Why does it bother me? Why does it bother me so much? And I can't get out <laughs> of it. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't uh, that, but you can't see, sit and have that. People look at that's, you like you're a mental case. That's a com no, that's a common artist trait, right? You People that don't, I think, even understand how much an artist has that go through their head. It is. It's, it's like right? OCD. You, but you can't, like you, you do have to try to try to separate yourself a little bit. And I, I have a hard time with it, too, because, I mean, my, my messenger goes off like 600 times a day well that's probably exaggerating but i i'd probably say i get at least a hundred people every three to four days that will message me yeah. but a hundred people right and i'll tell you i i probably end up doing jobs for one or none <laughs> of that the, those people right so and a lot of them start off with the exact same question right how how much to do a motorcycle helmet right how much how much to paint a motorcycle well how much to paint my hood how much to to paint my truck well that 
That's great. That that's. <laughs> and and I don't I don't know I don't get it on a perceptional level I don't I never would just message someone randomly. Yeah, like I don't either because maybe because we understand the the thought process, the time, the effort, the planning, everything that goes into it. It's like we understand it to a T. Even if you I've even found if you know, you explain your process, people still look at you like, okay, but what's what's the actual cost? It's like they disregard it. It's just like you're missing the point. Actually. Yeah, they they want like, the Walmart number. That's right. The they, it's almost like they treat you like I'm going to a store. I'm going to go pick you this brand over this brand because of this reason. It's yeah. Like, I'm not something you. Go they're they're like missing shop, the whole artistic aspect of the of the job, right? It's like seeking personally to me. It's so no different than seeking a contractor. We we are artists, right? So if you go to Walmart A, or you go buy the same product from Walmart B, it's the same product. Yeah. You're, it does not matter yeah. where We're not like which cutters. you get. When it comes to airbrush, like people are just like, how much to do it? Well, do you even know my art? Do you do you, like? Do you actually follow me? Do you actually pay attention to what I do, right? And people are just so much about give me. I want to push a button and get get money, but like have give money and have something pop out. It doesn't work that way when it's art, right? And I and I find that because when i sit down with clients like when i when i sat down my very first uh time sitting down with uh, say steve right devil's night i i met up with steve at his house i i sat there with him at his bike right looking at his shop right now you have to understand steve he runs a friggin horror house out of his garage every year right so there is stuff all over the walls there is there are like horror pictures and there are skeletons and I can see the gritty right and I can I can see more about Steve from the environment than I got from actually talking to Steve because you, you talk to Steve and you're scared but for a totally different reason Steve's a very scary looking guy right like he's he's a very dominant person right so I stood back and I and at this point I was fresh out of voodoo. I, I had I was had a good foundation of the of the art side of it. I had a weak foundation of the bike side of it or the like the, the working on motorcycles, right? Like I, I could do the airbrush, I could do I understood that side, but I didn't know if I was gonna be able to live up to the standard right now i mean when i did devil's night and i did that first project and i did jason i did mike myers i did uh the the silent hill nurse i did chucky on the side panel i did the zombie on that front thing ghost face or the yeah the scream mask dude on the other side originally and I mean, he only paid me like 1100 bucks, right? Like to begin with, that was the deal. And he ended up giving me some more later on after he, he kind of saw what I was putting into it, right? But like, I was, I was cool with the 1100 bucks at that part because I was so mystified to what I was kind of going to be a taking on with that bike, right? Um, so I had a lot of fear. I was scared to death. And I, I remember there was, there were days, and, and I never told anybody this, but there were days I sat and I would sit at my desk and I'd stare at Steve's fucking bike. And I was, I was petrified, right? And it was, I was afraid, like, am I going to pick up my airbrush? And is it going to, like, just, am I going to miss a, a, a little bit of a dust speck at the end? And then just, pfft, and that's that like at three hours, four hours of work's gonna be gone. Is that is that what I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with right now? And I I was horrified. I was scared. And I had to work through it. And I remember Steve one tried dropping a big one on me. He didn't give me a he's like, Well this my bike is missing a ride, blah 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 and I was I was really dealing with some like can I pull this off moment, right? 
And I'm just like, listen, you never even gave me a time to end the to, to get this bike back. Don't drop this stuff on me. I'll, I'm working at my rate. Please leave me alone. Right? Like, I was just, I needed him to back off, right? Because as an artist, you're panicking, right? People don't understand artist's anxiety. And artist's anxiety is one of the, the scariest things you you have to deal with as an artist on an everyday basis, right? And as an artist, every day, you have to deal with, is my work going to be good enough that my client's going to be amazed? Are they going to say, wow, or are they going to say, what the fuck, right? And that's the last thing you want to hear when, you, when you're an artist. When you're dealing with a piece, there are so many stages, right? And, and you have got to work right from the bottom up and not everything looks like it's going to be like a world class piece like day one it usually like doesn't turn into holy crap that was amazing until like day seven right when ev everything starts to come together right right and it does it really does it looks like no, no bunk and and why this is here and this is here and this is here and this is going to affect when I airbrush, I carve, right? And I and I will, I am sketching as I go. So when I first started, I used to use my white paint as my, I guess you could say as my like layout work, right? And if I didn't like an area, I had black and I had white. And I always had the two side by side, right? And if I didn't like an area, over the black, come back in with the white right and I just started to notice that push and pull of the white to black I was starting to able to develop my my pieces and the better my hand coordination got the more I was able to be in control of that white which is a huge difference from day one to, to day 30 right when you when you get really go hands in like you've noticed on your piece right that that hand eye develops slowly right all right i'll stop that there hopefully that helps some of you who have to deal with that as an artist it can be tough thought it was a good little bit of a conversation give a shout out to steve But, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. If you want to continue to get updates from new projects we're going to be taking on. This week will be interesting. Uh, we do have the Harley Quinn car we are going to be finishing. I will be heading out on site in booth tomorrow. That's going to be fun. I will be finishing up the little bit of airbrush. We'll get that thing cleared and we will get that back together nice and finished up for sharing. That's an exciting one. But. I'm going to throw up a couple pics here. This is Lauren's piece, how far she's come. She's doing a great job. She's working her way through it. She's had some bumps, but that happens. As uh, as we kind of talked about in that vid, you know. Don't beat up on yourself if you're if you're going through it. It happens. Just work on through it. It's just paint. It's okay. It's the only time. Eventually, you'll have less and less of those issues. But we've got some pretty cool things coming up this week. We'll grab some footage of everything. We are working out a semi. Going to have a Venom piece coming up on that. That will be fun. One way or the other, we are going to get this thing done. Uh, we are working on a studio and shop. We are uh, very close to getting everything in place. If you have a job that you'd like to have done, we are going to be doing recording for the, 
for the upcoming projects and we're going to be doing it in a new studio if we can have this all arranged so please throw down a message to our facebook or throw us an email throw that up we're happy to help you let's we're willing to work around your schedule uh, if you need Want you to do some type of payment arrangements, we get that too. Alright. Work through your projects. You guys can follow along. We want to do filming on all this, so... You only accept so much. Make sure that we can put quality into every piece. But I, re I really want to push my envelope as to the projects I take on. I, I really want to have some fun. I want to do a collaboration with a couple other 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 artists. I do apologize. I do not speak the greatest at times. But I do want to do a collaboration with a couple other artists. I have been uh, in talks with them. So I am expecting to do some work in the upcoming weeks. And we're going to show off some artistic skills. There's lots of different techniques in this field. So if you're learning, don't accept that you know just because you're doing it one way that's the only way to do it there are tons and tons of tons of methods that are to be unlocked and you can choose ones that work for you that you, that you like the most for anyone looking for work we want to make it happen we'll turn it into an episode again send a message we do have a sale this month if you are watching this in October till the end of the month. November is the cutoff, but we are offering $30 an hour airbrush. Now if you are a business, we are going to offer every project that we work on. We will put your logo on the video at the end as a sponsored buy. And we will help push your brand as much as you guys are helping us and keeping us busy through these tough times. We want to help promote art. We want to help create an environment that artists can learn. You guys can be free to express your feelings and some of the difficulties that come with doing this as a job. It can be fun. It can be very stressful. And we get that as artists. Something that Laura and I have dealt with being artists for our whole lives so we understand it's it's a fun thing and it can it can create amazing amazing things in your life but it can also create some ripples but that's cool if you guys have any stories feel free message leave something in the comments love to hear them tell us about any pieces that you've had these problems with that you've had to overcome you know I'd love to hear it but thanks again for for everybody that tuned in to this episode I will end it here and let you go on your way but thanks for tuning in from the art den this is prime time I do apologize again if, if I'm doing anything that you guys don't want to see let me know I'm learning this is new for me. I'm trying to play with it and get better at it and produce better content for you guys, artists, or people just who just enjoy watching art being created. You may not want to pick up a paintbrush. That's cool too. We, we want to show all different styles and all the different cool things that we can, we can do. So I do have a blender sculpt coming up. I'm going to have some video I did recording there. I'm going to have that probably loading up this week. I'm just going to do a little bit of a final tuning on that. That'll be cool. I think you guys are going to like it. I'm working on a dragon. Yeah. It's going to be it was fun. It's it's been a challenge. I did I've done real sculpting, so doing digital sculpting is it's a bit of the same, but learning the tools is going to be uh, a bit tedious. So pull my hair out there a little bit. But, you know, that's why I wear a hoodie. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. And you guys have an awesome afternoon. I'm going to upload this tonight. It is October 12th, 2020. 
And I am closing this edition of Late Night New York Day. In the afternoon. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I try. But thanks, guys, for all your support. It means a lot for me and Lauren. Let's see what we can create. Out from the art den. I'm Brunton. <laughs>